And these are the um, kind that people collect at Christmas time. There are two kinds of mistletoe native to Arizona. There's the streamside leafy holiday mistletoe that can bring you kisses. And then there's its high country cousin, the dwarf mistletoe, that can bring the kiss of death. Dwarf mistletoe is a parasitic flowering plant that's host specific to members of the pine family and it's completely dependent on them for nutrients. In overcrowded stands of ponderosa pine trees like this one in the Coconino National Forest, dwarf mistletoe can be as infectious as holiday cheer. In one single burst of energy, this parasite can launch seeds a distance of up to 35 feet. So the seed is shot out through the air. When they contact an object, they can stick to the object because they have that natural glue covering the seed. Dr. Robert Mathiason is a professor in the School of Forestry at Northern Arizona University. He and Ecological Restoration Institute researchers theorize that more open, park-like forests will slow the spread of mistletoe and prevent deadly levels of infestation. When a tree becomes severely infected like this small ponderosa pine tree, um, they're sucking nutrients out of the tree so they decrease the tree's growth eventually. So when a tree becomes severely infected, they start growing slower because a lot of the food they're producing is going into the parasite. In this thinned area, there's an abundance of sunlight and nutrients reaching the trees, making them stronger and not so much mistletoe. When the infection is very light, there's only a few infections on the tree. It doesn't um, really damage the tree at all. Although most of us won't be embracing dwarf mistletoe in our yards or hanging it in our homes during the holiday season, it is part of the forest and does play a natural role. Squirrels like to eat the mistletoe shoots and they also like to eat the branches that are infected with mistletoe. I call these squirrel candy. And the mutated branches called witch's brooms created by mistletoe also benefit wildlife. You can see there's a kind of a thick area in there that's sort of forming what we call a platform, kind of a platform. Uh -huh. That'd be a great place to build a nest. By restoring forest health to the southwest, researchers are hoping to kiss the devastating effects of dwarf mistletoe goodbye. For NAZ Today, I'm Bonnie Stevens.